more options, essentially, for Weefa Trainer to move. And we're already moving into our next match. For sure. Stash and Hyper. This will be interesting. We've got a, a Palutena coming out. I think we saw her earlier a little bit. Palutena also is just incredible in this game, especially compared to her last iteration. Just so fast. Incredible aerials. I like the uh, I like the neutral B from the edge. Oh, and that we roll read will take it. Very fast first stock coming up, Hyper. And continuing to just lay on the pressure on the stat. All these horizontal combos from Hyper are amazing. One side and stage to the other. Just continuing to not let Stash get any opportunity to get her own combos. You might as well. I like. <laughs> I, she she had that uh, opportunity for the punish of the Abby. Didn't end up taking it. Nice shield poke Trading though. Back another stock. Three jabs and she's at half shield. Hyper Leave that pressure that into his stock. Let's see if Stash can turn this out without taking any damage, even up the final stocks. I gotta say, it's not looking good. Immediately up to 50% already. Let's see this. Oh, that was a beautiful tech read. Hyper coming out. Super strong. Let's see if Sash can do anything about this. Really, it just looked like Hyper was approaching the whole game, and Stash couldn't really do anything about it. Well, it's hard getting up close with Palutena without making it your own game. <laughs> He's going Captain Falcon. Ooh. Unnecessary character switch, in my opinion. Yeah, Hyper 1. It was incredibly it was fast, and then, and then he hit him with the young character switch. BM question mark? <laughs> Imagine having the audacity to swap characters after winning your first round. And Hyper continuing to put on this pressure. Tio's out. We can say whatever we want, Cross. Oh. Call your real estate agent. <laughs> Hyper is inside Stash's head right now. He in control of the stage. We'll find it. We'll find it, you guys. Finally getting an opening with the Nair. Not really turning much out of it. Sash is definitely playing a little bit better. Hyper is just in, in like just controlling the stage right now. Stash finally finding a way on. Let's see if he can actually control center stage. Nope. No center stage for Stash. So Falcon is such a high percent and all of the moves having launch capacity. It's just impossible to keep Falcon in for any combos. She's got to hope she can land something. Maybe forward smash, down smash, counter off of one of the stronger attacks. It's good call out up air. Stock. Quick double jump. Gotta stay away from those tilts and neutrals, Palutena. They just have so much lag. Oh, nice call out pivot grab. <laughs> and he goes off. To a quick edge choice. guard. Stash, on the edge guard. Stash didn't uh, really make a decision. And that's, that's what sealed the deal, ultimately. Quick back airs. 40%. 
Why not? He's still he's still got quite a lead. That down tilt's so good at uh, two framing, but okay. Nice explosive flame. There we go. There it is. That's there's, a Palatina player right there. there. There's the down tilt I was looking for. I'm guessing that isn't really a two frame. That's just kind of extending so far off the ledge. Uh, you know what? Stash brought this game back. Uh, it took five stocks. Commentator's though. curse. <laughs> uh, what? Not looking quite as back as I thought it was. Hyper, however, still holding control of this game. Hyper's been really good about calling out those uh, those recoveries. Let's see what it'll do here. I have a feeling this will be the last interaction. No. Oh. Nice air dodge read. And that missed counter is going to seal the deal. Unfortunate. Hyper coming out strong in both rounds.